Hi everyone and welcome to another Pat Problems video. My name is Helena and I'm the Access and Outreach Manager for the Department of Materials at the University of Oxford and today we're going to be taking a look at question number 14 from the 2013 Pat paper. So let's have a look at the question. So question 14 is one of the physics multiple choice questions from this paper and in this question we have two satellites that are in orbit around the Earth. The first is in a geostationary orbit, the second satellite orbits at a radius half that of the first and we're being asked to find the period of the second satellite. Okay and these are the four options we have to choose from. Right so let's set up the problem here so we have satellite number one which has a period t1 of 24 hours because we're told it's in geostationary orbit which means its period is 24 hours and let's say it has a radius r1 of little r here. Now the second satellite, satellite 2, we're told its radius r2 is half that of the first satellite so it'll be little r over 2 and we're being asked to find its orbital period here t2. Now in order to solve this question we can use Kepler's law. Now Kepler's law tells us that the orbital period squared is proportional to the orbital radius cubed. In other words, that the t squared is equal to a constant, let's call that k, times r cubed, which we can rearrange to give us a ratio of the orbital period squared divided by the orbital radius cubed, which gives us this constant here, k. Now, this ratio here, this constant, is the same for any orbit. So both of these two satellites, even though they're at different periods and different radii, are going to have this ratio being equal. So this means we can equate this ratio between the two satellites and solve to find our T2 here. So if we do that, so we're taking T1 squared over R1 cubed, is equal to t2 squared over r2 cubed. So if we do that with our values here, we have t1 is 24 hours, all squared, divided by r1, which is little r cubed. And that is equal to t2 squared, which is what we're trying to find, divided by r over 2, all cubed here. Now, if we expand this out, we would have r cubed over 8. So if we take the 8 up to the top of this fraction here, we have that that's 8t2 squared over r cubed. OK, so we've equated these two ratios for the two satellites. Now let's simplify and rearrange. OK, so we can multiply by the r cubes to get rid of those. And then if we rearrange for t2 squared here, we find that t2 squared is equal to 24 hours, all squared, divided by 8 here. Excellent. Now, you could try turning this into SI units and turn it into seconds. However, since the options that we're being presented with in this question are given in hours, I'm going to make my life a little bit easier and keep this actually in terms of hours. So if we put this into our calculator, if we do 24 squared divided by 8, we find that T2 squared is actually equal to 72. So if we take the square root of that, T2 is the square root of 72 which is approximately 8.48 hours. And matching this up to one of our options, we find that the closest answer is B, approximately 8.5 hours. Now, if you didn't have a calculator, which was the case when this paper was sat, you'd be able to, or you should be able to notice that the square root of 72 is somewhere between eight and nine, which would therefore give us only option B as being the correct one here. And that's always good to do as a quick sanity check as well, even though we have calculators when we're practicing here. So that's the solution for this particular multiple choice question. I hope that was useful and please tune in again next week for another Pat Problems video.